In this chapter, we will talk about the number theory. We introduce the divisibility. When we have an integer, for example, we do a division. The result is three. Three is an integer. But now, if we take tau, divide five. So the result is 2.4. 2.4 is not integer. We have two integer a, b. Suppose that a is not zero. We cannot divide by zero. We say that a divide b. A is a factor of b. We have a concept of a factor or a divisor. We can say B is divisible by A. B is a multiple of A. In this case, the reason of the division is integer. Integer C. We have the notation here. A divide B. So here, Okay, because 7, G, 2, dot 3, the reason is not integer. So we have 3 does not divide 7. And here, yes, because it's part. So this is a important theorem. The theorem say that if A divide B and a divide C also. So we have A divide uh, the sum of B of C. It means uh, the acid uh, unit of C of A divide C. From it understand, we can write K1. Uh, so here, can K2 A. So uh, we want to check A divide B plus C. We have B plus C come to K3 of A. If we uh, plus, so we have B plus C come K1 plus K2 multiply. So we assign K3 by K1 plus K2. Correct. And the second one, if A divide B, then A divide B multiply. The density. So if A divide B and B divide C, we have A divide C. Maybe, obviously. This is symbol, but most important. From the theorem, we have the corollary. If we have A divide B and A divide C, then A divide the sum of two products. A by two statement we have also by two we have a divide and c so because we have a divide b a divide c it means we have a divide b plus c so here a divide and b plus and c but the last in uh, today we want to talk about the skill of the division now let h be an integer and be a positive. We have the equality. This is the remainder quotient. Let A be an integer, D a positive integer. We can find the unit integer Q and R so that, for example, can we show me Q and R here? This is A. This is D. And keep in mind that D is greater than zero. What is Q? What is R? So, nine. So here we minus, we have two. It is easy, it is difficult. We keep in mind that the remainder. So we have here two options. So negative form one. This is correct because 
or satisfy the condition. The second option is negative three and R negative two. We have many options here, but we consider the remainder less than D. So we want to find the quotient and the remainder. If we have a 10 divided 3, so we can use the subtraction. We uh, subtract 3 times of 3, 10 minus 3, 7 minus 3, 4 minus 3, we have a 1. But in here, we cannot subtract because 1 is less than uh, this is A, this is uh, D. So we stop here. And uh, this is the remainder. And the quotient is 3. We do 3 times of subject. We count 1, 2, 3 from the cell. It means that 10 is 3, 3 uh, plus 1. This is the first case. The first case, the A integer is positive. The second case say that the A is negative. We take the absolute and we have um, 10. Now we do the division. By the first we have Q is 3 and R is 1. After that, we check A is negative or not. If A is negative, because D is 3, we reverse the remainder of 1, 2. We plus the quotient by 1, and we take the negative, and we have negative 4. So this is the aneurysm. Yeah, in this case. So we have the absolute 9, 3. So we have Q is 3 and the remainder is 0. A is negative. So in here, here, the remainder is 0. We flip the Q by the negative. So Q is negative 3 by here. So we have 9 is Three negative three. That is the division and result. 